My name is Julian Forbes. I'm a senior computer science major from Brooklyn, New York, and this is the Howard men's lacrosse team. <laughs> Lacrosse is North America's oldest organized team sport. It involves two teams of players who use long-handed racket-like implements to catch, carry, or throw a lacrosse ball down the field or into the opponent's goal. For men, it is considered a contact sport, and though it is not praised to the same degree as basketball or football, there are 431 men's collegiate lacrosse teams offered at four-year institutions. However, only five are HBCUs. Delaware State Women, University of D.C. Men and Women, Hampton Men, and of course, Howard University Men. Considering the recent rise in HBCU lacrosse teams, I spoke with a few members of Howard University's men lacrosse teams to gain some insight. What days do you guys practice? We practice Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 7, and Saturday 12 to 2. So I could tell just from looking at the practice that you guys have a brotherhood, and how did you form it? How did it come apart? Like, so the way the brotherhood formed is, you know, it wasn't like we have about 20 people on the team. Obviously, that doesn't reflect right now. But, you know, it, we started with just five people, you know, and we struggled a lot to get the stuff that we have now. So, you know, when you struggle together, you just end up forming a brotherhood. As a black man, uh, how do you feel about the stigma between lacrosse and black men, black people? Um. I think it shows a lot that a lot of the like greatest players in the sport, like right now, Miles Jones, um, he's a black player. Kyle Harrison, he went to the same school as like the player that was um, touted as like the best player like of our generation. Paul Rabel, he started like a new professional league, but like looking all the way back to like the 60s, Jim Brown, who's like a Hall of Famer for the Cleveland Browns, considered probably the best lacrosse player of all time. He's a black, he's an African American man, and I think we need to continue that legacy. And just seeing more and more HBCUs like start to play more lacrosse. Like lacrosse isn't a white sport. It was it's really the the creator sport, I believe they call it, in like the Iroquois. So like it's a brown man sport. So we should really be taking it back for real. Thank you.